So let's continue with options. Options basically a group of code that can be reused anywhere in the program. It generally saves the excess of use of memory and decreases the runtime of the program. Creating a function reduces the need of writing the same code over and over again. With the help of uh, functions, a uh, program can be divided into many small pieces of code for better understanding uh, and managing. So, solidity functions are declared using the function keyboard, followed by a unique name that does not conflict uh, with any reserved keywords. Uh, parameters can be included in the function declaration with their name and data type, as specified in a list. The return value is optional. The root of the type must be declared at the time of function declaration. The function code is written in a block following the declaration uh, and closed in curly braces. The function scope determines uh, its visibility and accessibility and can be specified as public, private, external, or internal. Now let's take a look into an example. Here, the add numbers function is declared. It takes no arguments and returns the sum of two numbers, 10 and 16, as a new alt value. The pure keyword indicates that the function does not modify the contract state or read any data from the blockchain. The function is called when the user wants to execute that function. In Solidity, the function is simply invoked by writing the name of the function where it has to be called. Different parameters can be passed to function while calling. Multiple parameters can be passed to function by separating with a call. Okay, let's see an example. So here we have a, a contract with two functions. The first function is QRT, takes an on-site integer, as you can see here. It takes an on-site integer as input and returns its square. It does not modify the state of the contract and can be called externally from any other contract or externally on the account. The second function, and here, adds two on-site integers and returns the square of their sum by calling the SQRT function. So as you can see, we can call another function like this, just like any other program of that. Return statements. A return statement is an optional statement provided by Solid. It is the last statement of the function is to return the values from the functions. More than one value can be returned from a function in Solidity. And to return values from the function, the data types of the return values should be defined at function declaration. Now let's talk about view and pure functions. But first, let me show you an example. So as you can see here, we have a function that returns more than one value, and here is basically returning that. Okay. So view functions are used for reading data without modifying any state variables, and uh, these functions prevent state variable modification after the function is called, and any attempts to modify state variables. We've seen a view function resulting in a warning from the compiler. The default function for retrieving data is a view function, and it cannot modify the state. Here we can see an example of a view function. As you can see, we're not modifying the state. We're just reading state values. The pure functions do not read or modify the state variables which returns the values only using the parameters passed to the function or local variables present in it. 
If the state events which read the state variables, access the address or balance, access any global variable block or message call a function that is not pure or anything like that, uh, then the compiler throws a warning in such cases.